No matter where the journey takes you, Delta is with you at every step to keep you informed, anticipate your needs, and connect all the dots. We'll intuitively coordinate your travel day using real-time data, connecting ground transportation and other travel arrangements with your flight based on factors like weather and traffic. You can start watching select in-flight entertainment from the moment you check in. We'll give you proactive notifications along the way. And you'll have access to fast-track experiences at the airport and beyond. Welcome to an airport designed for you. Biometric technology lets you breeze through every step faster. Permanent bag tags enabled with GPS let you see where your bag is anytime, anywhere. You move through security seamlessly without ever stopping. The whole experience feels more personalized. Parallel reality displays show you only the travel information that's relevant to you. Yours. Terminals and gate areas are welcoming and more relaxing. We let you know exactly when it's your time to board, so you can make the most of your time in the airport. Head to the gate when we are ready for you, and board the plane quickly with biometrics. Even after you've arrived, our work continues. Because at Delta, we know getting you here is only half the journey. We'll be there every step of the way to make sure traveling isn't something that stresses you, but something that delights you, empowers you, and lets you connect with the people and places that matter most. Hey, what's up everybody? So recently, a brother sent me a link to this GeekWire article from January 10th, 2020, uh, with the headline, Delta Airlines debuts crazy parallel reality airport experience based on Seattle startup's technology. And so the main focus of this article centers on the unveiling of this new technology they've dubbed parallel reality displays uh, developed by this Redmond startup Misapplied Sciences in partnership with Delta Airlines. But these are screens that can literally project a unique tailor-made image uh, to hundreds of different locations in the same uh, room or the same viewing area within a few inches of accuracy and can accommodate hundreds if not thousands of individuals looking at the same screen depending on the amount of special pixels that are in the display so it's pretty amazing i mean part of it is just i was kind of interested even more when i saw kind of the timing like well kind of makes sense that uh this may have kind of slipped under the radar with everything that happened in the following months um that we might not have you know heard about this because i sure didn't but it's pretty amazing so yeah they had a big uh, walkthrough experience at ces in las vegas there in january of 2020 
and the first part is where you can stand in different locations and you know it'll show you depending on where you you know if you if you stand behind the eiffel tower you see Paris. if you stand here you see you know but then on the next one they have a little tracking tag that you carry with you and then you can see how it can then track you around the room and so that specifically beamed image follows you wherever you go right and that's kind of the whole main reason they they want to develop this but yeah interesting for many reasons because as i kept looking for more information and, and material on this i found that um you know promotional video commercial whatever you know whatever you call it and so yeah the parallel reality screens are only one component of the larger new airport experience that delta is uh, trying to create and hopefully it doesn't require a ton of exposition <laughs> to explain why this whole vision being depicted here uh, fits quite interestingly into the paradigm <laughs> that has now unfolded and is continuing to unfold uh, day by day, week by week, in terms of travel and uh, things like you know, biometric ID, airport security, and all these things. Just interesting timing for everything, of course. But the screens are pretty... It, it sounds kind of mind-blowing, but then I actually found this um, lecture given a couple years ago by one of the one of the founders of Misapplied Sciences, and he actually does a pretty good job explaining how they are able to do this. And after you listen to his explanation, it's like, oh, okay. The, the concept isn't actually all that hard to grasp. It's just obviously without super powerful AI to, to drive the, the tracking and the, the calculating for how to, you know, change all those little beamlets is how it works. So it's basically like there's thousands of little projectors. Like each pixel is its own projector projecting different beam colors, just like a movie projector projects, you know, different pixels onto a wall or whatever. So it's like that, just flipped around. But you would need, a, you know, a very powerful computer and, and software to simultaneously do that for hundreds or thousands of people all moving around but it's possible i mean it's but the the, the broader question of course is you know people being conditioned to just it's, this is straight out of like that scene from minority report and once again where science fiction becomes something that people just suddenly uh, accept as, as not just uh, acceptable but comforting and i mean that's the whole i just love the whole uh, ad campaign they put together here it's all pastel colors and happy upbeat little techno jingle and you just i mean it's it, it's perfect because it's it's such a complete contrast to the reality <laughs> of traveling in in the airport right now at least uh, in in my state it's like yeah, wow you talk about a perfect depiction of the carrot on the stick you know <laughs> Just being able to, it's, it's so opposite of, of how it is now, right? Where this is, this is the dream state people want to get to. And like, all you got to do, I mean, here in their version, there's, you know, it's all biometric ID. So you just walk into the airport and it recognizes you <laughs> and tracks you and tracks your bag. And you're just, you don't ever have to worry about getting lost. But the, I mean, that's what is so kind of amazing right about this whole example and when you listen to these guys talk about all their ideas for what kind of applications and and what benefits it would it would have i mean yeah if if all the signs at the airport were in your language or wherever you know you could get the these signs put up everywhere you go <laughs> they're in your language they're presumably giving you you know whatever other specific information you know it's this really is so, something that just ties into this whole internet of things idea like on a whole new level that's just in time for you know everybody uh, itching to get back to uh, their free well, what, what was the line they used at the end we don't just want your trip to be relaxing but empowering or something like that because ai can anticipate every little need and move and, and it's all tailor-made to you right this is the whole the whole idea each person walking around we just live in our own little tailor-made input reality all entrusted to some <laughs> giant corporate whatever
Psalm 49. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the heart. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about? They that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him, for the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceaseth forever, that he should still live forever and not see corruption. For he seeth that wise men die. Likewise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts that perish. This their way is their folly, yet their posterity approve their sayings. See, like sheep they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. But God will redeem my soul from the power of the grave, for he shall receive me. See, ya. Be not thou afraid when one is made rich, when the glory of his house is increased. For when he dieth, he shall carry nothing away. His glory shall not descend after him. Though while he lived, he blessed his soul, and men will praise thee, when thou doest well to thyself. He shall go to the generation of his fathers, and they shall never see light. Man that is in honor and understandeth not, like the beasts that have.